What's going on guys, today is the official beginning of taking Chomper in a new direction. Now I know there's a ton of y'all out there that absolutely love the way the truck currently sits and don't want to see me change it up too much, but this is YouTube. We must progress. We must experience new things. And yes, I would agree the truck is pretty much perfect, right? It's got a bunch of tastefully done mods, but yeah, it's not over the top, but we got to swap it up. I want to film some more content on this thing and I want to change the complete vibe of the truck. So starting off, we're going to be swapping up the rear bumper in place of a freaking roll pan. I've been wanting to do one of these on Chomper for a long time, but just didn't feel like it was right. With that said, let's go ahead and pull this thing in the basement and get started. So if you haven't already, go ahead, remove your spare tire. And the next thing, which is what I just did, is unplug all of your electronics from your tag lights, uh, take your spare tire tube out, your hitch plug whatever because we are going to be dropping our hitch as well they do make hideaway hitches which we might do in the future but as of now we're just deleting all this crap it's going to be some nice weight reduction but they got these little christmas trees all over the hitch assembly so go ahead and take all that out just leave these dangling for now we'll get them tied up out of the way uh, once we tie in our new tag light so you got 10 total bolts holding this bumper on two on each side up here two on each side back there and then one on each side of the hitch right there. These are 18 mil. That's a 13, 16. You will have to hold the top nut on the back too. All right, now you wanna go ahead, position your knees to hold the other side up and then just undo this and try not to let it fall on yourself. Now you might notice these are sticking out. Don't freak out. No, you do not have to cut them off. They are just bolted in. You got these two bolts, one there and one right there. Actually, there's only one after you take the hitch off, but we just got to disconnect that guy and then these will come off and then it'll be flat. There you go. I ain't even gonna lie. This thing is giving off some serious pre-runner vibes and I am actually really freaking digging it. This looks freaking sick. I've been wanting to do a pre-runner style build for a while now and I've been keeping my eyes open. Not a body style truck like this, not even a GM truck, but I definitely do want to do a cool pre-runner truck because we haven't done one of those before. So this definitely gets me a little stoked for it. Just 17 years of grime built up right here. Never been washed probably. Get off real quick. Definitely needs a good clay bar. Wow, it's actually <laughs> better shape than the rest of the paint underneath all that grime. It's like freaking glass, holy crap. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if this is one that fits super snug or if it's got a big gap or what the deal is. Had a lot of good reviews, but it was off of Amazon. So of course my storage ran out, but we got her mocked up. I went ahead and took the tailgate off, obviously put it on a little bit easier. We're going to put it back on so that we don't have any issues with lining it up. Um, I did have to bend it a little bit because I didn't notice when I unboxed it. I don't think I did it myself. A little ding right there and the outside was bowed a little bit. So I just took a cloth and some pliers and bent that in a little bit and I've got it on there for the most part there's a little bit of a gap right here so when i screw this in this gap is obviously going to close which is going to push i don't want it to fall but it's going to push the bottom out just like that so we will have to then push the bottom and hopefully just bend this back and uh, it line up because it does line up really freaking good i don't want to it's kind of hard to do one-handed but if you have it 
dude, it, it's it's pretty freaking good. So I am excited. So uh, yeah, next step is going to be to line it up with the tailgate on so that we don't have an unequal gap on either side. Also, we want to close the tailgate, open it, make sure everything doesn't hit. And then we will mark our holes. One, two, three, four, five. A little drill, throw some self tappers in there, and then we'll have to worry about lining the bottom up. And that's it. That's it, dude. So I'm stoked because you know, I know it's not like body paint, but it is a gloss black and it's looking pretty freaking sweet. I'm excited. Last time I ran out of storage, this time my freaking phone died, but we are on our last rivet. All right, now we got the fun task. We're basically strong arming this thing under here. Hoping the rivets don't pop out. Drilling a hole, and I guess we're gonna throw rivets in the bottom to hold it like this. It's super flush, as long as we can get it to hold. But I guess I'll work on that and let my phone charge up a bit and then I'll catch up with y'all. barely snuck in here and got that perfect lighting but it is rapidly running out but look at this freaking truck holy crap this backdrop with the black truck all clean all the freaking air conditioning units boom 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 cutting on as soon as i start filming because you know gotta have interruptions but y'all let me know what do you think about the freaking roll pan on chomper i think it is bizarrely different like it is so crazy different it looks really good to me but it is so different i think that the rear of this truck has got to come down some because obviously now you can definitely see up under it and i, I just feel like uh if we you know <laughs> we tuck that booty down a little bit it'd look better because it's definitely sitting taller without having the bumper and the hitch assembly on there because that little roll pan weighs literally nothing in comparison to those things as well as not having the exhaust back there so um yeah it's definitely probably sitting perfectly level if not a little butt high now i've honestly been so torn since i filmed the part where i was like okay we're starting choppers whole new whole new look and now i'm like it looks so good i don't want to change it <laughs> like this right here this is peak can't see flaws in the black paint oh my gosh it looks insane honestly fitment super good especially for like amazon i did have to bend that lip and of course you know like that spot right there the paint chipped off and it already has rusted so it's definitely something you'd want to get painted if this is going to be permanent and of course you can get it welded up and everything um, but it's on there pretty freaking secure like honestly really just by those things holding it on our uh, light works if i get my keys out of my pocket nice little led light on there oh i almost forgot we got the new freaking let's go this side in my last nitto swag pack I got these little nitto. Look at that. How freaking sick is that? That is, that's freaking awesome to me. Valve stems, that's cool. But anyways, I'm gonna quit rambling. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. Comment down below, let me know. I'll see y'all in the next one.